Hello everyone, welcome to episode 6 of our series on how to make a shooter in Scratch. Today I'll be showing you how to add some visual effects and sound effects to your game so that it turns from this into this. So you'll see we have a heart meter right here, we have updated art for the background, the power-ups, the zombies, the gun, we can hear some sound effects in the background as well as some background music which I'll be providing to you. Nice. So you see now we have a machine gun sound effects. And when I take some damage, you'll see our nice little hard animation over there. And wave complete. And we also have some sound effects for collecting the power-ups. So overall, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the game seem a lot more satisfying than it was before. The first thing you'll need to do is download the art and assets in the description. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download it for free. Next, let's start uploading the art. I'm going to be in the player sprite. Let's go to costumes and let's go to upload costume. And I'm going to go into zombie shooter, art, and then player. Where is it? There it goes. So there's our new player's sprite. Let's delete the first costume. And so we have player. Now we're also going to be uploading some sound effects. Let's go to sounds. And let's go to choose a sound and upload sounds. And we're going to be uploading a couple of sounds. Pistol, machine gun, player damage one and two. I think that should be it. Let's press open. So we have a sound effect for the pistol, the machine gun, the and the player getting damaged. So let's code this in. Let's find when we start shooting the gun over here, where we create a clone of the bullet. Let's go to sounds and drag out start sound. If the gun is pistol, let's play sound pistol. If the gun is a machine gun, let's start sound machine gun. Now let's scroll down until we find our invincibility block and we want to play a sound here. Let's drag out start sound and the sound we're going to be playing is the player hit. So player damage right here. So that sounds three and four. Let's go to operators and drag out pick random 3 to 4. So that'll pick a random between those two sounds. Alright, that should be all for the player sprite. Let's move on to the zombie costume. In the zombies, let's go to costume and let's upload costume. We're going to be choosing zombie. So you can see I added some eyes and made the costume a little bit better than it was before. So let's delete costume one. The first thing we're going to do is start playing sound effects. And since we haven't added them yet, let's go to our sounds tab. Let's upload sounds. Let's go to sounds. And we're going to be uploading zombie hit and zombie kills. All of these. Let's press open. So these are the sounds that are going to play when the zombies damage, and this is the sound that's going to play when the zombies kills. Back in our code, you'll see this code right here that runs when we take damage. So let's drag out start sound, and since we have three zombie damage sounds, let's go to operators and drag out pick random one to three. Now right here, before we delete this clone, let's start sound zombie kill. And I think we can add a little bit more juicy of a death effect instead of just delete this clone. So let me move this out for now. Let's drag in repeat 10 and let me change this to 5. Let's change our ghost effect by 10. And let's change our size by 10. And then let's delete this clone. That's all for the zombie. Let's move on to the bullet. And the bullet doesn't really have that much code changed. The only thing we're going to be adding in is our bullet costume. So let's go to art, costume, there's our bullets, here we go. Let's delete costume one. Okay, let's go back to the code. And the only thing I'm going to change is to make the bullet move a little bit less backwards since the player isn't that big anymore. So let's try 25 step and the bullet, I want it to move a little bit faster. So let's try 23. If it moves too fast, it's going to go completely through the zombies. Okay, let's go to the game over. Now let's go to costumes and I made a game over costume. So let's delete costume one. And I wanna have a little animation for our game over costume. We're still gonna leave this show and go to front layer, but let's set ghost effect to 100. And then let's repeat 50. Change ghost by minus two. So that'll have a nice little fade in effect. And then I have a sound effect for our death. Let's upload that. 
death, here we go. So let's start the sounds before all of this code. All right, now we also have some updated art for our heart sprite. Let's go to costumes and upload that as well. Heart, heart. Now let's go to code. So as you saw in the video clip before, we added some effects that play when the heart was getting damaged and when it wasn't. So let's code that in. The first thing we're gonna do is instead of set size to 40, let's change this to 100. Instead of change X by 60, let's do 40. So that'll have more spacing, less spacing in between. Let's make a variable, let's call it Y for the sprite only, and another one called sin or sign for the sprite only. Okay, now let's drag out when I start as a clone forever change sign by six. Now we're gonna code in the animations that play. So we need a variable called effects for the sprite only. And let's set effects to no when we start as a clone. Then let's also set size to zero. Let's remove this hide block and let's first detect if effect is no. So the reason we have this check is to make sure this code only runs once to make sure it doesn't keep on running so the animation doesn't play over and over again. Then after we check, let's set effect to no. So that'll only play once. Then, since this is going to be our animation that plays when the player loses a heart, let's change, let's set Y. Whoops, I used change. Let's set Y to minus two. Then let's repeat 10, change Y by minus two. Minus two. And then change Y by Y. So that's gonna be the little move down effects. And then finally, let's change ghost by 10. Now let's have the effect that plays when we gain a heart. So let's delete this show block. Let's first detect if effect is no, so that this code only runs once. If it is, let's show. Let's clear graphic effects, since we have some graphic effects up here, which is the ghost effect. Let's set size to zero. And then let's set effect to yes. Now here goes the size hack. Let's change y by 10, and we're putting this outside of the if. Let's drag out a divided by and a minus, and then let's do 100 minus size divided by five. Now to make the hearts have a little bounce animation, let's go to motion and drag out set y to, and this is gonna be quite a long block of code. Just follow me carefully. Let's go to operators, drag out a plus block, and then let's drag out a multiply block and we're gonna be adding 140 and in this multiply block let's put in 10 and in the first part let's put in absolutes or abs abs of sine of sine times two so that's a pretty big block make sure you get that right so what that should do is make the hearts have a little bounce animation like that. Okay, that's the heart done. Let's go to our stage and we're going to be adding a different costume. So let's upload backdrop, ground. So as you can see, this one looks a lot more detailed and populated than our previous one. And for our sounds, we're gonna be uploading our background music. So let's go to sounds and background music. Inside of our code, let's do a simple when green flag clicks forever play sound until done. All right, now for the power ups, We're almost done. Let's go to costumes and let's delete these power ups that we have here. Can't delete this one. Okay, let's upload the other ones we have, which are health and machine gun. So make sure this says machine gun and then health. We're not gonna be really changing that much in the code, just adding a small effect that shows when the power-ups spawn. First, let's drag out point and direction 90 after if on edge bounce. 
Now let's have the little effect. So let's disconnect the forever loop. Let's go to control, drag out repeat 10, change ghost effects by minus 10, and then change Y by minus two. So that's gonna have a little drop effect. Then we need to set ghost effect back to 100. So it goes invisible, then it fades in. And then let's drag in change Y by 20. Now, when we collect the power-ups, we wanna have a little sound effect. So let's go to the sounds tab and upload sound. Let's go to our sounds folder and we're gonna be uploading machine gun pickup and health pickup. Okay, let's go back to the code. If the costume name is health, let's start sound health pickup. And if it is machine gun, let's start sound machine gun pickup. The last thing I wanna change is right here where we check if power-ups on screen is less than five. I'm gonna set it to three so that we only have three power-ups on the screen at one time. Then I'll change the rate from two to four and three to six. So it'll be waiting a little bit longer so we don't have as much power-ups. All right, for the muzzle flasks, we're not gonna be changing any code. We're just gonna be going to the costumes and uploading our updated muzzle flashes. So muzzle flash one and two. So we're gonna have two muzzle flashes instead of three. Doesn't make any difference in the code. So yeah, let's go to wave complete. And our costumes, this one is pretty ugly. So let's upload the one I made, which is wave complete. So you'll see it has a gradient and some outline around it. I think it looks a lot better. Now we're gonna be changing some code and having a nice little better effect than the one we have now. Let's first set ghost effect to 100 so that we're invisible. Then let's set the size to 20. Then let's repeat 10. I'm gonna be dragging out three of these, three repeat 10s. And all of them, let's drag and change size by three. In the first one, let's change ghost effect by minus 10. And then in the last one, let's change ghost effect by 10. So it's gonna fade in and then fade out and then let's hide. Let's go to our timer. Let's right click on if power up time times minus two and let's put this inside of minus 200. Let's right click on power up time times two and put this in go to x 200. Then let's just change the values of the pen color to something different. I'm gonna be setting this to set pen size to 10. And then for the fill, let's set this to bytes. All right, now it's time to test out our game. So you see, now we have our sound effects, we have our updated art, it looks great. Start shooting our zombies, you'll see our updated death effects. And you can hear some nice sound effects playing when we hit the zombie. So we just got our gun. Boom, I'm taking out all these zombies. Let's get our machine gun again. I'm gonna save my health power up for later on. Whoa, all these zombies are too hard. No! <laughs> if you like the death sound effect, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode.